In this topic, we're going to discuss how to calculate the magnification of drawings. So, by the end of this topic, you'll know how to calculate the magnification of your drawing and how to calculate how big an organism is if you've been given the magnification and the image size. So, what is magnification? Well, magnification is how much an actual image or organism has been enlarged by. For example, look at this fly. You can see that this fly has been enlarged. In an exam, you might be asked to calculate how many times bigger the image of this fly is compared to the original fly. So this means you'll be calculating its magnification. So what is magnification? Well, on this image, you can see there's a times 200. This means that this image is 200 times bigger than the original fly. So let's have a look at equations. The first thing I want you to do is copy down this triangle in your notes because we're going to be using it for the rest of the lesson. So notice how I, which is the size of your image, is on top. So how to remember it is I'm standing on top of the triangle. Then you've got magnification and actual at the bottom of the triangle. So let's see how to use this triangle. If I want to calculate magnification, what is the equation? The first step is you put your hand over M. So once your hand is over M, you can see that M equals I divided by A. What does this mean? Well, we say that magnification equals size of image divided by size of actual. If you want to calculate the actual size of an organism, for example, that fly, we want to calculate how big it actually is. Where do you put your hand? You're going to put your hand over actual, so A. So size of actual, for example, the actual size of the fly will be the size of the image divided by magnification. And then lastly, if you need to calculate the size of the image, where would you put your finger? That's right, you're going to put it over I. So size of image equals magnification times size of actual. Let's have a look at an example. If the actual size of a feather is 100 millimeters, calculate the magnification of the drawing. So if you're given this feather in an exam and it says calculate the magnification of the drawing, what do you do? Well, the first step is you measure the length of the feather. So for example, you find the length of the feather is 200 millimeters. The second step is you're going to write down your different measurements. So you write magnification equals question mark, actual size equals 100 millimeters, and size of image equals 200 millimeters. Then you're going to use the triangle to calculate the magnification. So you draw your triangle in the exam, remembering I is always on top. So we need to find out magnification. So you when you calculate magnification, you put your hand over M. So M equals I divided by A, so size of image divided by size of actual. Because you've written out the values for each, it's quite easy. So you say 200 millimeters divided by 100 millimeters, which equals times 2. So my image has been magnified, or the, sorry, the original image has been magnified two times to get that final drawing. Let's have a look at how to calculate the actual size of an organism. For example, here you've got an organism and it's been magnified 150 times. You need to find out what the actual size of this organism is. So what's the first step that you do? You're going to measure the length of the drawing. For example, we measure the length of the drawing and we find it to be 30 millimeters. What's the second step? You're going to write down the different measurements. So we say magnification equals times 150. Actual equals question mark, because that's what we're trying to find. And image equals 30 millimeters. So how do we calculate the actual size of the organism? That's right, you're going to draw your triangle. So triangle is MIA, I always on top. So you're going to put your hand over A. So actual equals size of image divided by magnification. 
And because you've written out the values for each, it's quite easy. So you say size of actual equals size of image divided by magnification, which equals 30 millimeters divided by 150, which equals 0 0.2 millimeters. So the actual size of my organism is 0.2 millimeters in real life. And that concludes our lesson. The end.